Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a product review on the Halo Bassinet Swivel Sleeper. So I used this Halo Bassinet with my daughter. She's going to be two in a couple of months. And when I did use it, we used it from newborn all the way till she was about five months. So the reason that we used the Halo up to five months is that my child pretty much outgrew it. Um, as you could see here, it is kind of short. It is the older version. I know they made one um, recently, I, I believe last year, that plays music and vibrates. But we ended up doing this one because it was more in our budget, which was still a little overboard. I think it was like $249.99. Um, I ended up paying like two, I think it was like $215. Um, so after my daughter used it, of course, we stored it in bags and made sure that um, it was in a proper place this whole entire time. Now that we are expecting our son to be here any day now, um, we had it set up and I just wanted to do a quick review. So go ahead and check this out. All right, guys, so this is the bassinet here, as you could see with the base and the bassinet itself. So inside, it does come with this pad. Um, I don't have a cover on it just yet, just because I'm waiting for him to be here. So it's nice and fresh. So this is removable, as you can see here. This part is also removable. So you can easily take it off and wash it. And on the sides of the bassinet, this side is just to cover up this ugly metal part. And then on this side is for storing things. You could store diapers or wipes or anything that you would need overnight. And it has a nice clean um, closure here so you can't really tell. And that's that part. So the main thing that I wanted for a bassinet is something that would be close to my bed and easy to reach. Of course, at 3, 4 in the morning, you are still half asleep. So this is something that's easy. So it does swivel all the way around. So the best part of the bassinet is that the front part, this part does come down. So it's easier access for you to grab your baby. And if you don't want this to come down, like say if you have a toddler like we are, and you don't want them to tilt this down or anything, you're gonna go to the sides. I already unbuckled the Velcro. And there is a little button here. The top it says locked, and the bottom says unlocked. So you're gonna go ahead and slide it up, like so, and as well as this side. Slide it up. And now the front does not come down. So that way your toddler or anybody can't really pull it down. And then you're just gonna go ahead and unlock it on both sides. Because if one is locked and the other one isn't, it still doesn't come down. You have to unlock both. And now it does come down. So it does move all the way around. It does swivel like it says. So it has two little nozzles here. This button is basically to um, take it apart whenever you are not using it or you wanna store it or whatever you decide to do with it. You just push it and pull this part up. This is to adjust the height. Um, I have a tall king size bed. So this is at its highest level. I'm going to go ahead and show you against my bed what it looks like. And of course it has the four legs at the bottom. Um, this is my only con that I have with the bassinet is that the legs are so long and so bulky that sometimes it's, it's just a pain. Um, I wish they would have done a little bit better on the leg part. 
Um, this is a very heavy piece, so I understand where they were going for, but I feel like it's way too long or I don't know, maybe they could have structured it differently. So I just moved it against my bed so that way you guys could see. Um, I do have a taller bed. Um, so this is what mine would look like. So I went ahead and stuck one of the legs underneath. And before I did that, I went ahead and swiveled this all the way towards the back. So that way it's not swiveled towards the front. So that way I could still get out of my bed and still get in. Um, if you have a lower bed, it still fits. You would just have to adjust the height. And as you can see, I can easily grab him from here. Um, I can always adjust this a little lower if anything. And a mesh here so you can easily see through and check on him or her. Alright guys, I hope you guys like my quick review on the Halo bassinet. If you guys have any questions or maybe if I miss something, go ahead and leave the questions or comments down below and I will answer them. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and I'll be back with more videos.